So in recent days, you perhaps have heard some uh, talk about new statistics uh, being discussed in the realm of baseball, specifically launch angle, exit velocity, as well as spin rate. And we thought now would be a good time for us to talk more about what that new statistic actually means called spin rate. So um, spin rate, as the name implies, is, has to do with the rate of spin or how much an object is spinning. Because as it turns out, an object traveling through a fluid such as air that's spinning actually has a new force manifest itself called the Magnus Force. You probably have seen uh, these effects uh, demonstrated in some dramatic videos where they take basketballs and they drop them off of dams. As it pertains to baseball, however, um, we can think of the Magnus Force acting on this baseball in the following manner. So if we take a baseball such as this and typically we come through and we throw it like this and release it and it's spinning thusly, we see it's, uh, several important uh, characteristics. Number one, the velocity V vector pointing in this direction uh, and that's a measure of how hard the ball has been thrown, how much heat or how much mustard has been put on it. Pointing down, we have the force of gravity that's always there and insatiably pulling the ball downwards. Pointing backwards from the velocity, we have the force of drag, which is tending to slow the ball down as it pushes through the fluid, in this case air. We also now have the Magnus force, F sub M, which in this case is pointing up. And there's a couple of key ingredients that we need to focus on with regards to the Magnus force. Number one, it depends on two parameters, this goofy looking uh, W called omega, also known as the angular velocity, which happens to be the spin rate. That exactly is the spin rate times the velocity or the translational velocity of the baseball. And we see that the Magnus force depends on these two things. So that's the theoretical model, but you might be asking yourself, well, that's all well and good, but does that actually have real ramifications in the real world? And to answer that question, I will turn you over to Lewis University uh, physics major, Ryan Smith. Ryan? Thanks, Dr. Hooper. Under his guidance, I looked into the statistics of nearly 250 pitchers in the MLB and found that spin rate has a real impact on their performance. Our first plot shows the number of strikeouts per innings pitched on the y-axis and the spin rate on the x, and you can clearly see the relationship between the two. As spin rate increases, so too does the strikeout frequency, which means batters hit the ball less often. The question now is what happens when the batter does hit the ball, and our next plot answers that. Here you can see the relationship between exit velocity and spin rate of the pitch, and you can see as spin rate increases, exit velocity decreases, which means the batter makes less solid contact. The bottom line of this research is you tend to get more strikeouts, and batters tend to make less solid contact when you increase the spin rate of your pitch. Now here's Dr. Hooper. Thank you, Ryan. So the data shows trends consistent with what us old ball players always knew that the pitchers who put more angular spin or spin rate on the ball tend to be the ones the most difficult to hit or hit hard. So the data is consistent with that hypothesis. So we hope that uh, this discussion about this idea of spin rate as it relates to Magnus Force uh, is, has been useful and helpful and will help you enjoy our national pastime more. Thank you for watching and play ball. Thank you.